guys, welcome back to another episode of Not Afraid to Garden. Hope everybody is enjoying the holidays. Um, so pretty soon Christmas will be here. So I'm sure everybody's busy out shopping and uh, just having a fun time out there. So um, I've been just uh, putting my videos together. So this uh, for this week I decided that I wanted to talk about and just bring you guys what my um, ponytails uh, palms look like. Um, I do have three of them, and again, you guys all, always know how um, how these uh, collections. Oh my gosh! I know you start a collection, and then next thing you know, it it just gets really exaggerated. Now, if you guys look to the side. I have I actually have a collection here of flower pots. And these have been my collection for a very long time, but I stopped collecting them. I don't collect them anymore. Um, but these are, you know, the collections that I have. Um, so that's why I'm saying that collections sometimes really can get overwhelming. Um, so you have to keep an eye out on, again, what is it that you'd like to collect and how much space do you have actually to, to hold on to them. Uh, so yeah, so my ponytail palms, uh, my ponytails, and actually I kind of wrote down um, the name of it because uh, the official name, Bucarnia uh, Recurvata, is actually the official name of the ponytail palm, uh, but we know them as ponytail uh, palms. Now they are not an actual palms, they're not related to the palm family. Uh, they're also known as elephant um, elephant palms, elephant plant palms, um, because of the shape of the stump that they have, um, and they develop that stump with time. Uh, so that's what they're known as, uh, both of them. Now these ponytail palms are very easy, to, guys, to be able to maintain at home. I know sometimes they look overwhelming, you know, because again, because of the of the uh, stem that they have. Um, and it could be a little scary trying to think that, you know, how to maintain that, but very, very simple. Um, these ponytail palms, again, the, they're known for the ponytail because of the way that the leaves uh, kind of come down, the way they look on a ponytail. You do actually a ponytail, there's your hair, and it actually comes down. Uh, so that's, that's the name that, you know, that they're known for. And look at the beautiful foliage that they have. Um, and again, sometimes you see them nice and straight, just growing that way. Um, sometimes you see them a little curly. Um, so it, it kind of depends, you know, on the uh, on the, the type of palm that you're actually going to purchase. Now these palms, um, you can grow them outdoors and you can grow them indoors. So if you're growing them indoors, most likely these palms will not grow no more than probably four feet. Now they can grow maybe a little bit more, um, but again, that will take years and years. They're slow growers, so they don't they don't grow very quickly. Now if you grow them outside, um, and the temperature they uh, they can tolerate if they're not fully grown, but if they're grown years enough that you have them outside, they could tolerate 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, but it's a chance that you will take. Um, they prefer, you know, uh, zone B to 11, um, and that's their ideal environment and their ideal uh, growing area. Um, so again, uh, you have to reconsider where you want to grow these. If you want to grow them in, outside, you have to make sure that um, they are, you know, um, grown quite a few years in order for them to tolerate that, that temperature that's going to drop. Uh, but to be on the safe side, again, you can put them in flower pots and then you can just take them in and out. Um, the, they like their soil, uh, well-drained soil, because again, this, um, this stump could rot. They're very well known for root rot if you overwater them, which was what we tend to do with these ponytail palms. Um, again, you don't have to water them all the time. You have, to, you should wait until their soil is dry in order to water them again to avoid that root rot um, from the bottom of where those roots are. Um, you can um, trim them, so you they do require a little bit of maintenance because of the um, the fronds that they're called. These leaves that come out, 
sometimes they get brown on the tips you can just uh, snip them um, periodically and just keep them um, snipped um, I am growing this one this one has two ponytails on here actually it was three but just comes to show we're not perfect guys there were three here and one of them um, again just kind of dried up and I'm thinking maybe I was over watering this one um, I've had this one for quite a few months um, but these two are pretty solid and I even have there's a little baby growing on the side here look at that so there's this one growing there as you guys can see so in time I can probably separate that from that one um, now you have to keep an eye on these also uh, sometimes they end up with little pests on them um, they are known for the um, mealy bugs mealy bugs they're in almost every plant that you get um, so you have to keep an eye on them with mealy bugs you can just wipe the leaves down and and you can clean it that way uh, but definitely keep an eye on your plants to make sure that they don't have uh, any bugs on them uh, but if you check them periodically, then you check, well, if you're like me, I check my plants almost every day. Um, so if there's anything that's on them or anything that's going to damage them, um, I can catch that on time. Um, so again, well-drained soil. Uh, they love lots of light. Um, if you're growing them outside, full sun to partial shade. And um, if you're growing them inside, make sure you have an area where you're getting a lot of the sun. So um, I have actually they're here just temporarily about where they are located um they're actually getting plenty plenty of light so um so that's pretty good i do have to trim this one uh, which i'm going to be doing that pretty soon um and actually you can actually um alter the shape of your ponytail palm now you can make cuts on your ponytail palms in order to um to stimulate a new growth on there and um i haven't tried it i did read about it um you know maybe i'm not comfortable with doing that yet um uh, if if you're you know do you know about ponytail palms you know maybe uh maybe give me send me some details and just let me know if you have tried that um and then and then a lot of times you have to on those cut put the pruning paint in order to seal uh that wound if it, if it doesn't seal right away um, so just be careful with that. I'm not comfortable with that yet, so I'm not going to try that. I love the way they are, um, so the way they are, they are fine. Now this is my very first one that I got. Um, so what happens is these um, leaves, they dry up, and as they dry, then they just come off from the bottom here. So that's how you're developing, that's how it's growing further up like this. And just as an example, I'm just going to peel this one off from here. So if I peel that off, you guys can see there. And then that will continue all the way up until again, this becomes like this long neck um, of the plant. And that's a little maintenance there. And you'll know when it's time to be to take that off because it turns brown and you'll be able to see it. Uh, but as you guys can see, uh, this root is very healthy. And uh, I only water it every, I, I want to say, week and a half. Um, and, and technically, again, um, just put a little water around the, um, the soil itself, not on the root ball. And then that drains down. Um, and then make sure you get pick up all of that excess water. They don't like their feet wet. And then just let it dry in between and then continue that cycle um, but yes and this container i found this at the goodwill um, so it's a kind of a little unusual so that's the way it goes so i thought it would look beautiful in here and there it is um, so again they're very very simple to maintain guys um, don't become overwhelmed by these plants. They are beautiful. Uh, these actually, uh, I'm going to try to get a picture of the one that my sister-in-law has. And she's had hers for quite a few years. And it's a very tall, beautiful, beautiful ponytail palm. Um, so I'll try to get you a picture of that. Now on this one, 
for some reason, um, the leaves up on the top, they started to dry up. I think, again, I was overwatering this. So um, the one dried up, but it is still stable. I got a new baby on the side here. Um, so what I do is, I, as this keeps coming up, growing, I am snipping the dry leaves from in here. Um, but as you guys can see, it's still healthy and the plant is still alive. Um, and again, uh, the leaves, um, as they continue to grow, I just snip them off from the bottom. And eventually, in a couple of years, this, this neck here will be just taller. Um, and then again, they grow the base of this, uh, the trunk on here is actually like a reservoir, so it absorbs the water in there. But that's why you have to be careful not to overwater it because you're going to, if this is a reservoir and it holds the water there and it's holding water and you're continuing to water it, again, you're uh, allowing it to get that root rot because it, it's already maintaining some of that water in there. So be very, very careful. Now this one, the way it was shaped, um, as you can see, there were a couple of cuts that were done on this one, as we were talking about, on the side here to promote that growth. And that's how they ended up with all these, um, all these uh, leaves growing up here. Um, but I will not be trying that anytime soon. Um, and then on the top, it looks like that's where they put the uh, pruning paint again to seal it. And you guys, I'm sure you have seen that on other ponytail palm plants. Um, and that's just again to seal it to make sure that that wound um, heals very quickly. Um, so, I, again, uh, they are beautiful. Um, they do require a lot of space to, as, as the years go by. That trunk gets bigger. Um, they don't need a lot of repotting. The repotting happens maybe every couple of years. Um, so, as soon as you get one, you don't have to repot it, guys. So, don't have to worry about that. Um, they, do, they do grow. They have the male and female. But... Um, just know you probably never see it flower. I'm probably never going to see it flower. It usually takes about 30 years for them to uh, flower. The male has a cream color flower when the fem and the female has a pink color flower. I'll try to find those flowers and maybe put them right up here. That way um, I can show you what they look like. But I'm ne probably never going to see it bloom. Um, and again, these plants can last, you know, over a century. They can even outlive us. So um, again, if you guys have them, enjoy them, um, enjoy your plants. And they belong to the asparagus family. So because of that, the ponytails belong to the asparagus family. I decided to show you um, one of my uh, asparagus ferns. And look at this. Um, so they are related, um, they are in the same family, the asparagus uh, family. And then I've got a couple of these asparagus ferns. And again, they do resemble on how this grows. It does cascade down like this, and it just cascades all the way uh, down. And these grow very quickly, guys. You definitely need a lot of room if you want an asparagus uh, fern um, in your collection. Um, so just make sure you have room for this. And then again, the way they grow their fronds, their leaves, they are cascading down the same way. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video and I hope you guys are enjoying again the holidays and I'm going to be traveling remember um, so probably within the next two weeks um, so I'm going to see how my videos I'm going to be able to upload it and I'm not sure um, so again thank you guys and I'm hoping that um, guys if you haven't checked out any of my other videos that came before this one please go ahead and catch up um, and if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button so that way um, you can and don't forget to hit the um, the bell so that way you are notified of all these videos that are coming through and that way you don't miss any of them. So thank you again for all of your support um, and I hope to see you guys again next week. So have a great weekend. Peace.